iTunes. Morning everybody. Morning. Hope you're on the ball today. Oh me, why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say, have you? <laughs> hey. No. <laughs> do I ever? <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you do, dear. actually, yeah. Oh. Um, well, it's a nicer morning, there's no frost and... It's actually quite... Looks quite pleasant out there. Yeah, it does. Absolutely loads of walkers. Mm, this morning. Looked like a club, didn't it? I saw a load of dog walkers. People are what? What the dog? Dogs? It's a, a growing business that now, isn't it? Oh, aye, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, so. so, yesterday. What did you do yesterday? Oh, yeah. Ordered some more books, didn't you? I've ordered some more, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think I think I've got eight orders now. So I sent off for another five yesterday. Yeah. Um good. Yeah. I don't know how long they'll take. I mean they've got to print them and make them into yeah. a book. Oof, good I suppose they're a big enterprise they're doing yeah. it. Yeah. Um, Hot time. Hot time. <coughs> so I'm not be quick at it. Not too sure how long mm. it will take. Depends where you are in queue. For. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose so. Doing it. Queuing up for that, I know. It could be. Queues for everything now. Well, we had a nice tea last night. We had um, salad and corn and some potatoes. And uh, little corn, corn, what do they call them? Dippers? Oh, oh they're, they're like little, chicken nuggets on the it. corn. That's corn like. nuggets, corn nuggets. Yeah. They're quite tasty. Yeah. And Tracy opened a bottle of her, she'd bought it because a friend was having a birthday. And she bought a bottle of, the, of this <laughs> Whispering Angel for her. Um, apparently it's what Short label. they had um, on, on the cruise ships. They were kept ordering it on uh, below decks and she wondered what it was like. So she bought this friend a bottle. About twenty pound, I think. <laughs> so she decided, at the same time, she'd buy herself a bottle, and it's it's thirteen percent. Um, and we tried it last night, didn't we? Now mm. you thought yeah. it were a little bit tarty. Yeah, didn't have to me. Didn't have a right taste. Didn't have a right taste. Right taste. taste. Uh, and and yeah. Tracy didn't think it was. All it were made out to be, unless unless on the cruise ships it's a different a different kind. But I think she got that from Sainsbury's. Oh. And anyway, once I saw them pulling faces, I thought. So I put three cherries in mine, and a bit of cherry syrup. <laughs> <laughs> it was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it proved it enormously. It improved it. The taste it? of it, yeah. yeah. A little bit of cherry syrup. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, that's, we had that with our tea last night, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Well, I enjoyed it. I think once I'd done it, Tracy put cherries in hers. Yeah. And it improved hers. You just had a little taste of mine, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Right. So it did, did give it some did taste. It, did improve it somewhat. I was asking our Tracy about what she thought of uh, Lees and Bradford Airport. Yeah. Because when I think back, 
in the 19 in the 1970s well early on yeah, the early 1970 70. i think when i came out of the army i worked for um Did you worked for more more floor services yeah um and i worked with harry uh, he was the manager and we used to go out together uh, sanding and sealing wood floors um, and also polishing, cleaning and polishing floors in, you know, in supermarkets. Um, different places. Different banks. And... Banks, all over the place. Well, at one time, the, and the Wilf, the, the owner of the firm of Moat, he got a complaint from Leeds and Bradford Airport because he had the cleaning contract there. Um, that they weren't doing the job right. So he went one in his car one night and packed up because it's all glass. Yeah. I don't know, I have no idea what Leeds and Bradford Airport looks like now. Uh, but then it, it was all glass. glass and he, of course the lights were on and he, he could see people walking about. So he could see the cleaners in there. And about one o'clock at morning, it just went dead until it, about an hour before the shift ended and they'd just gone to sleep <laughs> so he, he, he sat the lot of them <laughs> and he asked me to go in until he got new staff for it and i went for about a week and on nights just all night cleaning in there mm. um i was asking just yourself <laughs> yeah i was on my own in there yeah 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 i did oh, all the rules and all mm. Where bar war and waiting area and all sorts kept me busy. Mm. Um, it was weird having my dinner, having my lunch at about two o'clock or yeah. so in the morning. Mm. Um, but I just wondered what it was like now. And Tracy says it, she didn't rate it. No. She didn't think much to it. No. She said there's all these like them straps that they put out for you to walk between and all know. over them. There's no signage telling you where to go or what, She had no idea what, what to do and they to were not, not to tell her. Um, apparently they were a quick, the outside rim, rim where you could walk was the quick queue. If you paid an extra money, you could jump the queue. She didn't know. There were no signs. She went round that way and then had to come that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She and she said it was cold. Yeah, cold in there. In there. No, it's... Whereas the airport in Ireland, in Dublin, were warm. Mm. Um, but yeah. yeah. And they were, they were there an extra two hours, weren't they? Oh, and all they were. If it's not warm. <laughs> yeah, didn't sound very. No, no. Not very nice, I don't think. They didn't make it comfortable for you anyway, let's put it that way. <laughs> and poor David, he hates flying. Oh, yeah. He was clinging out at front seat for dear life. <laughs> so that's that. Mm. That's that little saga. Mm. We're clinging a, a lot of places, aren't we? Yeah, we have. Yeah, we uh, I remember. Oh, have I got ah. an air? Got an air? Oh, my neck. Am I growing airs? <laughs> I can't be saying when we come. Oh, we had a right damn time last night. Tracy had had these fingernails done with this gel. And... <laughs> From after tea, we, we could say it were about quarter to seven when we finished tea. I started taking, trying to take this nail polish off. She bought some acetate, which they were, she was told to melt this um, new stuff. And uh, it took me from quarter to seven till twenty to nine to get these, these polish off. 
and I had to scrape it with a, I had a little scraper thing and, and um, we, had, file. we had, a, I had one of these really good nail files that are metal and we did a bit of that and she was soaking her hand in this acetate. Oh gosh, what a job. In the in the nail polish vase, they use a Dremel to get it off. But then they want you to have more nail polish put on. Well, she didn't want she didn't want that. She thought of thinking her, her nails were getting soft, brittle underneath. So she wanted to leave them. She wanted to trim them back as short as she could, and then leave them plain, you know, just normal. But, oh, what a job. So if anybody out there knows any any other thing that you can get you this gel nail polish off with. What? You, you, you weren't going to tell them about your nose running then? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's best bit. I don't want to embarrass anybody. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we won't go into that one. No, we won't go into detail about that. <laughs> oh, a bit of a disaster. My nose, I'm always blowing it. It always feels as though it's running. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'd dream with your head down, can't you? You know, <laughs> concentrating. <laughs> Mm. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm, uh, I'm trying to think if I can't really bring to mind what I, what I did all them hours. Upstairs? Mm. You were watching um, Dave on, on the video when I came up. What I? Yeah. I think it was Dave. Yeah, Dave's RV, um, he, he has a little dog called Bella. Yeah. I think, did I mention it yesterday that he'd gone back to this place in, near Quartzite, where he took yeah. some years ago. There was a little grave and it, it was his, his dog that he had before Bella which I didn't know about. And it, it had died and he buried it in this little, in this grave, oh, yeah. in this little area in the desert. Um, and he hadn't been back for two years. I don't know how long ago the, the dog died. died, but he hadn't been back there for two years and he went back and somebody had planted a little tree <laughs> um, by the grave. Um, he, he was quite wondering oh, it was. how on earth had done it, you know. Mm. Yeah, none of his people he knew on YouTube had done it. Mm. Um, that was kind of them, wasn't it? Mm. Whoever it was. So yeah. Put a little tree there for the dog. Mm. Said it was a nice to dog. It. He, he lives, Dave, he lives in his RV. But in the summer, he goes I can't remember where he is, but it's all nice and green and lush. But he goes back, it's not a house. It's a, a friend has a house and he has a double garage, quite a big garage. And he parks his RV up at the side of this garage and plugs it in, I think. Um, and he has a load of tools and stuff. There's all doing projects. Um, and I think that's how he lives. He lives there. In the summer, um, and in the winter, he goes down south, down into Texas. Down. Yeah, where it's a bit warmer. Really. Where it's warmer, At yeah. Night. Yeah. Mm. Um, wanders around California and places like that right. all summer, all winter. That's where he is now. Mm. Um, Quartzite is Quartzite. incredibly busy. Mm. Um, a lot going on there. There's the cell 
Because our rates shows them, we mm. to sell our rates there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This is in America, you know, yeah. you know where courts are. Everybody knows where courts are, is there? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I watched Dave and then I watched um, Wandering by Choice and all, and he were at Tilbury. You know where Trump has his golf course? It's not Tilbury. Oh, in Scotland. Somewhere Trump in Scotland, Bury. isn't it? Yeah, I've forgotten the name now. Is oh. it Tilbury? Well, there's a lighthouse there. All right. When he went, walked back to his uh, car, when Steve walked back to his car, though, or a, a camper that looked very much like Em's camper. Um, what are yours, Em? Were you parked there at that lighthouse? Because I know you were up in Scotland. Oh. Um, I don't think this, this must be recent. I don't think you were right. up there then. It must have just been one that looked like yours. But yours is a nice looking camper, Em. Mm. I like the look of that. <laughs> mm, I think it's time for a letter, darling. I do, yeah. Um, it's from you. Oh, and it's got a date on. Yeah, it has. 15th of March, 1968. My darling Pat, thank you for the letters, darling, although they were a bit late. Now I have some bad news and some good news for you, Pet. First, the SSM, that's the Squadron Sergeant Major, won't let me do the CADA because he says while ever your wife is in England, you cannot keep your mind on your work, as I have been watching you, so you won't pass the course. Oh. So he said I would have to wait while you come out to me and we are settled. So that's that. So you can forget about coming out here for a holiday, but please get the passport back. He didn't want me to come for an holiday, he wanted me to come for good. For good. I did do the card, of course. You did later on, didn't you? I don't know when I did it, but I know I did it. Mm. They told me. They told me I was too quick. <laughs> to do the card, of course. <laughs> yeah. More or less. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, well, they didn't quite use the word thick, but that's what the implication was. Because they asked me, they gave me the op opportunity to not do it. Oh. If I didn't right. want to do it. Right. Because they didn't think I'd pass it, because um, I think they used the word immature. Oh, yeah. Immature. Yeah, I remember that word. <laughs> I didn't, you know, I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know what the, I, I, I used to think immature meant physical, a physical imma immature. Physically term. immature. Yeah. I didn't know what it was, what, what to be mentally immature. immature. Right, yeah. Um, I think that's what they meant. Um, I don't think he grew up until he got into his 30s. <laughs> I don't think I've grown up yet. <laughs> Love. No, no <laughs> never, never. Mm. Um, anyway, I did do the course and I did pass it for what it's worth. Uh, now the good news. The SSM is letting me come home for Easter block, Ooh. which is the 11th of April for about a week. So that's only three weeks and three days. So that's great, isn't it, Pet? I'm going to arrive, no, I'm going to arrange with Dad to bring your mail to you on his way home from work. Right. Right. That's clear. I thought something like that had happened. It makes me mad to hear of all these bums trying to chat you up. If I was there, I would bloody kill the swine. <laughs> anyway, you did the right thing, Pet, and I'm not mad with you. I thought your man wasn't going to let your Brian go to Blackpool. I can't wait for Monday either, Pet. Although I don't know what I'm going to say. I must have booked a call. All right. Anyway, 
I'm very busy running around getting the baby ready for the 25th of this month. The tag. This month's scheme. But I will be coming home straight after it, so it's not too bad. Wow. I'm going to sell her to book a flight home tomorrow, Fed. Anyway, I will write again tomorrow, as I don't have much time today. I love you, darling, very much, and can't wait to see you. All my love, Trev. Hmm. I think that's when I did come back with you in April. It was April, wasn't it? So. I think it was. Yeah, we did, we did a bit of running, running about to go. Oh, and then we came back overland. Train, um, yeah. boat, train, oh. boat and train. Yeah. Hell of a long journey. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I wonder at what point I arranged the flat. Don't know. Cause Number 17, Heidebeck, mm. Hermansburg. Mm -hmm. That was the flat I, I rented. Mm. Well, we know on scheme. I mean, uh, yeah. we, must, we must be coming up to letters where your dad... There's not that many left, you know. Isn't there? No. Wow. Ooh. What we're going to do now? What we're going to do now? <laughs> coming near the end <gasps> of the letters we are, yeah? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So today is Monday. Yes. And you know what happens on Monday? Shopping day. Mm. It's getting cold, wasn't it? It's still cold. Mm. I don't know about it brightening up. Yeah, it's still cold. So, that's it, folks. Yeah. So... We'll call that a video and we'll see you all being well tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay, everybody. Bye. Bye.